Coromax Mark IV. What is it? Why does it help? What are the benefits? Who can use it? Will it work for me? An AirTech presentation with answers to your questions. Coromax Pulse is a power supply system to be used on electrostatic precipitators. Coromax Pulse on an existing electrostatic participator working with difficult dust will reduce dust emission by 50%. Coromax Pulse on new installations results in a smaller electrostatic precipitator and savings on installation costs. Coromax Pulse uses less power than conventional DC powered electrostatic precipitators. Why does it help? In an ESP, airborne dust flows between rows of electrodes and collecting plates. A high voltage transformer is connected to the electrodes. High voltage is applied. Dust is collected. Collection of dust utilizes electrical power. Negative ions from the high voltage electrode charge the dust with electrical energy. The electrical field from the high voltage electrode collects the dust on collecting plates. Collecting efficiency depends on particle size, d, and on the magnitude of the peak and mean value of high voltage. This means that efficiency is lower for small particles, and efficiency is increased when more high voltage can be applied to the filter. Sparks can occur and efficiency is reduced. The reason is that high voltage drops during sparking. Sparks are generated in the constant stream of electrons and act as a shortcut inside the electrostatic precipitator. During this shortcut, the power supplied to the filter is stopped and no collection of dust takes place. Dust with high electrical resistance or resistivity is more difficult to collect. Too high resistivity dramatically reduces efficiency due to back corona. Back corona is positive ions produced in the dust layer emitted back into the gas. Electrons from the charge on the dust particles run through the dust layer on the collecting plates. Current is flowing through the dust layer. A flow of current through the dust layer creates an electrical field in the gas between the single dust particles. This electrical field can reach a level of several thousand volts. High current or high resistivity or both will create a high electrical field. At a certain high level of the electrical field, sparks will be created in the dust layer and positive ions and dust will be emitted back to the gas. Back corona is created. The higher electrical resistance, or resistivity, of the dust, the more difficult it is to collect. Too high resistivity dramatically reduces efficiency. The left picture shows a low resistivity situation, where current is utilized for collection of dust. The right picture shows a high resistivity situation, where current is creating back corona and less dust is collected. As a summary of collecting efficiency problems, we can say that sparks, small particles, resistivity, too low high voltage, and too high current will create problems. But with the Coromax pulse system, we can overcome the problems. The Coromax will increase spark level, increase charge of small particles, eliminate resistivity problems, increase high voltage, and decrease current. power supply from Coromax Pulse consists of three elements which can be individually controlled. Mean voltage level, peak voltage level, current level. More than 100 kilovolts operating voltage can be applied. The first element is the mean voltage. When the system is started, a mean voltage level of normally 40 kilovolts is applied. This voltage creates the electrical field which collects the charged particles. No current is flowing 
and therefore no back corona is present. The second element is the pulse voltage. The voltage is applied in very short pulses. Each pulse has a duration of 75 microseconds. Only when a pulse is applied will current flow. This means that current flow can be controlled by increasing or decreasing the number of pulses. This voltage is added on top of the mean voltage and gives a total voltage of up to 140 kilovolts. The pulses are used for charging of particles and the mean voltage is used for collecting of particles. Because the current is controlled, no back corona takes place. A unique feature is that current and voltage are controlled independently. In a normal DC power supply, voltage is increased when current is increased. This comes from the nature of high voltage transformers. With Coromax pulse, mean voltage, pulse voltage, and current can be controlled independently, meaning that the power supply can be adjusted precisely to the operating conditions in the electrostatic precipitator resistivity, particle size, temperature, humidity, etc. The adjustments are done continuously by the automatic controller. Spark level is increased, meaning that higher voltage can be applied with Coromax pulse than with traditional DC power supply. The left picture shows traditional DC power supply where sparks occur because there is a constant stream of electrons. The right picture shows a Coromax pulse system. Here, sparks cannot take place because the duration of the pulses are too short for the creation of a stream of electrons. Power consumption is decreased. The left picture shows traditional DC. With high resistivity dust, back corona is created. The current should be only used for charging of particles but here most of the current is wasted in back corona formation. The right picture shows Coromax pulse. With high resistivity, dust current is used for charging of particles. No power is wasted because back corona is eliminated. The independent control of mean voltage, pulse voltage, and current is possible because the system consists of two separate power supply lines, one for mean voltage, and one for pulse voltage. The high voltage transformers and rectifiers are located in a tank which is positioned on the roof of the electrostatic precipitator. The controllers are located in a cabinet at ground level. What are the benefits? Smaller ESP size, meaning savings on installation costs. Lower power consumption, meaning savings on operating cost. Not sensitive to process changes, meaning that the plant has great flexibility in the choice of raw materials in the production equipment. For new installations, the electrostatic precipitator with Coromax will have a size 30% smaller than electrostatic precipitator with conventional DC. When an existing electrostatic precipitator is upgraded with Coromax, the same efficiency is achieved as if the electrostatic precipitator was extended by 30%. A price example for a new electrostatic precipitator on a center strand. If we set an index for price or weight for a traditional DC electrostatic precipitator to index 100, then we will get an index for the Coromax electrostatic precipitator as shown here. Mechanical parts for the Coromax electrostatic precipitator are around 80% of the weight or price of the DC electrostatic precipitator. Electrical parts are more heavy and more expensive. Casing, insulation, access and dust transportation is also around 80% of the weight or price of the DC electrostatic precipitator. The total cost amounts to 93% of the DC electrostatic precipitator. When the total installation cost, including foundation, is evaluated, then the cost for Coromax electrostatic precipitator is 85% of the cost of the DC electrostatic precipitator. 
major savings on power consumption are also achieved. Elimination of back corona means elimination of wasted current, resulting in lower power consumption. The power consumption for the Coromax is almost constant for increasing resistivity values, where the DC system will require higher power output due to formation of back corona. A power consumption example for a new electrostatic precipitator on a center strand. Transformer power consumption is considerably lower for the Coromax. Heating consumption is also lower due to the smaller size of the Coromax electrostatic precipitator. The total savings in power consumption is 350,000 euros per year. The Coromax system is not very sensitive to changes in operating conditions in the electrostatic precipitator. From the graph, it can be seen that the size of the electrostatic precipitator is almost constant with the Coromax when operating conditions or resistivity changes, whereas a DC electrostatic precipitator will require a larger electrostatic precipitator in order to achieve the same emission. This means the plant with the Coromax system has great flexibility in the choice of iron ore or coal to be burned. Who can use it? Industries that produce dust with high resistivity, small particle size, or those that change raw materials often. This means for the steel industry on center strand, for the power industry on coal-fired boilers, for the cement industry in a few special cases. For the steel industry, Coromax is widely used on center strands. Dust from a center process has all the characteristics where Coromax is especially beneficial. Small particle size, high resistivity, low humidity, high content of alkalis and hydrocarbons. In the power industry, Coromax is also widely used. The system gives the power plant a great flexibility in the selection of coal to be burned. The resistivity is different for different types of coal, but the emission from the electrostatic precipitator will remain constantly low. In addition, the power plant will benefit from low power consumption. Will it work for me? Yes, we will show you some results from real life. 91 Coromax units installed on power plants burning coal. One hundred forty eight units installed on steel industry center strand processes. An example from a coal fired power boiler. Dust emission is seventeen milligrams per cubic meter. Coromax was installed on the two outlet sections on the electrostatic precipitator. It can be noted that the high voltage on the Coromax sections is double that of the DC high voltage, and that current on the Coromax sections is only 20% of the current on the DC sections, resulting in half power consumption. Another example from a coal-fired power boiler. Dust emission is 20 milligrams per cubic meter. Coromax was installed on all sections of the electrostatic precipitator. Note that the high voltage on all fields is around 100 kilovolts, and that current and power consumption is very low. An example from upgrading of existing electrostatic precipitators in the steel industry on a center strand. Note that dust emission is reduced by 50% due to the Coromax system.